never thought about what it would take for me to stop. There's always this fear that you can be kidnapped or killed. And it's so easy to be killed. Being beyond the camera doesn't exclude you from being there. It, it's not a shield, it's not a filter. The stuff that goes through the lens is, is forever burnt into your mind. I was calculating the distance to his voice. And when I heard him say to us that I hate you for hitting my mother, they were the strongest words that I'd ever heard anybody say. I didn't understand that I was photographing domestic violence even that night. But when he went to hit her again, I grabbed his arm and I said, what the hell are you doing? You're gonna hurt her. The events that took place in Tukosa forever changed me as a human being. To our left, a barrage of fire just came in our direction. And Ken was to my right, was it. I was tormented by that for a long time because it's as if the last thing I did for my friend was to photograph him dead at my feet. I don't call myself a war or conflict photographer. I think calling myself that normalizes the kind of images that I take. And I don't want those images to become normal to me or to the people who see them. You know, a lot of people ask me, why do you do this? It's so dangerous and you risk your life for what? We understand that it could be us on the other side of the camera. It's just a matter of geography. It's just a matter of luck.